Hello and welcome. I'm Tracy and this is my art channel. And today is experiment day. I am so excited about this. Here I have a canvas that I have pre-painted black and I was watching one of Sarah Taylor's videos where she was trying to use a transparent base with the Bloom recipe and her transparent base was her pillow. Here, I'm experimenting with a product and I'm showing you how the consistency is very similar to the PPG Multi Pro. The consistency and the elasticity is very similar to that PPG, but this is not house paint. This is going to dry completely clear, or we hope. Make sure you watch till the very end of this video because there are some mind-blowing results. So here I just laid down the pillow, giving it a little spin to spread it out, and my colors are all mixed um, with the Bare 8300 and the Poly Minwax, and I'm just using leftover colors from my last video. Um, that first color was Golden Turquoise, and this is Master's Touch Rouge. And I honestly, I stopped right here and I was thinking, oh, Tracy, you're doing a swipe. Why did you lay down this particular pattern? But I could have changed it. Um, but I thought, no, nope, we're just going to go for it. Oh, this is TLP sequins. She's gorgeous. I did add this color. Um, from the last color palette that I used. But again, these are all leftover paints from that video and I'll link that video. But oh, there's that submarine. I'm not normally a yellow lover, but there's something about that submarine that's just gorgeous. And again, like I said, I, I kept thinking, this is not the, the pattern I wanted to lay down because I was afraid that I wasn't going to get the negative space that I wanted to get for this experiment, but I do. Oh, you've got to love that egotistical. I will say I think hoity-toity is still my all-time favorite, but that egotistical is definitely a close second. And that's just Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine. And I think I have one more color that I lay down. These colors are just so beautiful and so vibrant. Yeah, that's the Amsterdam Expert Series in the Dantherine Blue Hue. And I'm just squiggling that across. That was, I think, my only opaque color. Everything else was either semi-transparent um, or transparent. Then my cell activators, I'm using two. The first one is just the Amsterdam Titanium White mixed probably about three to one with Aussie Floetrol. And this was a hodgepodge of triarts. I probably used five or six different triart colors. Um, I will have them all listed down in the description box along with Everything that I use today um, will be in my Amazon storefront. So I just laid down that. It looks really purple on the screen, but in person it was this beautiful, just grayish purple. It is very vibrant and it definitely takes over, but it was such a pretty color, I, I didn't care. And the reaction is unreal. See right there where I, I scraped my palette knife? You will see in the end where that was not the smartest thing to do. But again, this is more about the experiment. Will this non-house paint transparent base dry perfectly clear, but still work, have the same properties as the PPG or the Sherwin-Williams color to go? Look at those cells. <gasps> Oh, it's just gorgeous. So pretty. Right here, it almost looks like a little heart. Again, I'm stressing, am I going to have enough negative space in order to see if this experiment is even going to work? 
So I'm just taking a smaller little palette knife and swiping a few areas that needed a little help. It's so pretty. Look how reactive that triart is as a cell activator. I'm just taking a smaller palette knife and doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm looking at those scraped where I scrape my palette knife and just kind of kicking myself a little bit. And then I just do a little bit of scoop and drag. Again, just to, you know, bring out some of those colors and change my composition a little bit. I'll tell you, so far, if I didn't know better, I would think that is house paint as my pillow. Everything was holding together. It was it was acting just like house paint. I just can't get that. It's probably one of my most favorite color palettes. Um, and like I said, I've been chatting with Sarah Taylor. Um, I'll talk about that more during the the dry results. But I definitely want to give her credit. She's the one I saw doing this first. And as we all love, you know, in this community of artists sharing our experiments, it inspires us to get creative. <laughs> Here I'm just doing the little, uh, I think it's Jessica Winterstrom's little signature tapping the side of the palette knife just to make some little design. And right here, I am just putting down more of that transparent base to work as a flow extender and then just spreading it out. Again, mistakes were made, um, but it did not mess up the overall concept and experiment. And then I'm just going to give it a little few, you know, little spins to remove the excess paint. And the more I spin, these colors just come to life. They're absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I will definitely list the uh, color palette I use down in the description box in case you want to give it a try yourself. Definitely it makes you bright and happy after a long, cold winter. Look how pretty that is. And I'm just gonna tilt off some areas. I sped this up a little bit and I did cut out some parts, you know, that were repetitive. Look right there, those colors. Oh, and all the, so far again, all the cells are holding, lines are holding. All right, and then I'm gonna sh do a flyover of the wet results for you. Look at that. All right, so I will reveal what I used as my pillow paint. It was the mix, mixed pouring medium, but I did add, and see, you can see that signature mix right there, that transparency that it gives. Um, I did add some GAC 800 to it just to prevent any type of cracking or crazing but I wanted to make sure that the cells held and the lines held and that the, the paints didn't just sink. But again, it the mix is so thick. So ready for the dry results? Get ready. Alrighty, here are the final results. Oh my goodness. Yo, I think this worked. Few things to take away from this. As I said, as I was doing it, I did not realize what was going on, but when it dried, I came back and I was like, where did that come from? And that come from, and even a little bit there. It's like, that was not there. And I went back and I watched and I saw the wet results and I'm like, those were not there. And then it dawned on me. 
as I was swiping, I was scraping my palette knife on the edges, like I always do, you know, you think, okay, well, that's going to give me extra, you know, paint as a sort of a flow extender. Never dawned on me that I'm scraping color on a black canvas that's using a transparent pillow. So, again, not the greatest composition in the world, but it was more about the experiment, you know, would this um, pillow hold the lacing? Would it, you know, hold all the lines and the colors not sink? And I really think it did. And the black canvas showed through beautifully. There's, look at, I mean, it's still the lacing held. Um, it's a little hard to see because there are a lot of colors in this and they are very, very vibrant. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's where I wiped off my palette knife. Thank on it. But again, this was more about the experiment than um, the overall painting or composition and all of that. And like I said, um, as I was, you know, doing the voiceover and stuff, it, as soon as I laid down that S, I'm like, oh, Tracy, you're doing a swipe. But I could have gone back and changed it at that time. Um, but I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough negative space, but I did. And yeah, but look at the sheen. It looks like there's already a coat of varnish on it. So yeah, I will put all of my recipes down in the description box. Um, like I said, I've been in, you know, chats with Sarah Taylor. She was the first one that I saw try this. She tried it with Floetrol and although all of her paintings are gorgeous, um, she didn't get the results that she thought she would just because, you know, the Floetrol dried a little cloudy, but yeah. Adding, using the mix and adding a little bit of GAC 800 to work as a, a pillow for the Bloom recipe. Oh, I, to me, the possibilities are just endless. I think Sarah and I are going to team up together once we both have a little bit more of a clear schedule. Sorry about the glare. It's just, let me see if I can turn a little bit. I turned off even my um, um, box lights trying to get, you know, because there's just such a sheen on there. It, like I said, look, that's where I scraped my palette knife. Ah, so mad. But now that I know it works, I will be doing lots of these. So, like I said, Sarah and I are going to, um, team up and we're going to do a little collaboration um, when things slow down. Probably won't even be until the 1st of June unless we can squeeze something in. But stick around and we're going to play with this idea some more and see what all we can do with it. But yeah, I'm excited to think of what all you can do with this. Oh, there was an orb that just flew by for those that believe. Um, but yeah, the possibilities are just endless. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you tried this. Are you going to try it now? Um, I'm super excited. But anyway, thank you so much for being here and joining me on this little experiment. If you could see my studio right now, I'm working on something else that I can't share yet but I will be able to share it hopefully within the next couple of weeks. But let's just say I've been a mad scientist and I'm even having to film this over on a side table because my pouring table, my drying table, my mixing table, they are all covered with tiles and canvases of something else that I'm experimenting with. So I'm about to bust to get to tell you guys, but I promise as soon as I'm given the okay to spill the beans, I will, but make sure you have subscribed to my channel and hit that bell so you'll get all the notifications and you won't miss this huge announcement, or it's huge to me. Hopefully it is to you as well. I love you guys. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, until next time. Bye, friends. Bye.